More than 100,000 people are expected to turn out at local rallies organised by the Right to Protest campaign today. Over 90 protests are going to take place across the country in opposition to the disputed water charges. Here in Swords, North County Dublin, people started gathering around 11am this morning. Look, at this This is only one of uh, almost 100 uh, protests, so I think it's an opportunity to give people uh, a say on this issue in their local community. It's a signal to the local politicians in each area that it's their voters who are coming out to say enough, it's time to abolish the charge. I think we're being unfairly taxed for a basic human right. Um, I'm, I'm in the healthcare system and I deal with a lot of elderly people. And they're very, very, very upset about another tax. They're paying tax from probably 11 years of age. Some of them are in their 90s. And here's another tax being burdened on them. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Well, I'm just re I'm representing my family and the people of Swords. I'm, I'm one of the youngest people involved in the campaign in Swords, but I think that's irrelevant. Uh, I just think it's about getting the message out there that um, we've had enough austerity over the past few years and that uh, we're sick of it. And this is the final straw. Well, I've never protested before, so I'm first. I'm one person anyway who's never done it before. Um, I think that I'd like to see possibly even more people, considering there's 40, 42,000 people in swords alone. But um, it's, it's a good start anyway. Meanwhile, one protest in Dublin's north inner city, led by Sinn Féin Deputy Leader Mary Lou MacDonald, ended up outside an Irish water office on Talbot Street. Many people aren't even getting by at this stage week on week and to ask them to find another 200 euros or 240 euros to pay for their water is a bridge too far. People do not have the additional income to pay for their water. End of story. And people also rightly have a sense, as I have myself, that water is a human right. Uh, and I, I think as... As a matter of principle, I object to the, the charging for domestic water. I think it's wrong. Water is a basic necessity for people to live uh, and to have any decent quality of life. Can I, can I ask you, Michael, how do you feel today as a Labour member? I feel very guilty what Labour has done in government. You know, they, they said they were going to do things and, and when they got in, they only feathered their own nest. They didn't care about anyone else. I hope there's a large crowd. I wouldn't be surprised if there's everyone came out and stopped. Even the busmen men stopped their buses for the day. Because it's important. I wouldn't, you know, unless it directly involved me, I wouldn't. I have to say, I wouldn't have been very politically minded. But I have to get up and I have to let my voice be heard for my family because we actually, we're at the end of a paying week. Like, there's, there's very little left as it is. How are we going to manage when these bills come in, you know? Do you think Fine Gael and Labour are in trouble? Yeah, I do, definitely do think they're in trouble and I think it's about time people stood up to them. There's been promises made left, right and centre and, and everyone has just gone, all the parties, they've gone and done the same as the party before. Nobody actually seems to do anything. No wars without money. We have no more money.